Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you how to create a Jake Paul styled Instagram tag in case you don't watch his videos and you have no idea what I'm talking about. When somebody new enters his video, their Instagram handle appears in the style of an Instagram tag and it hovers over them for a couple seconds and then pops out. I think it's a cool effect and it's pretty smart. I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro and I'm using the latest version. I'm not sure if he edits in Final Cut or Premiere Pro or whatever editor but this effect can be done in this editor. And he does not actually edit his own videos, so I don't give him any credit for actually coming up with this idea because it's pretty smart actually. Also, one thing I have to mention before I get started is if you have a previous, like older version of Premiere Pro, this tutorial might be different for you. The text and shape workspace is gonna be different because in this update, there's something called Essential Graphics on the side you can see right here. You wanna go to Window, Essential Graphics if you don't see it. And basically it's just a different workspace for graphics. You can still follow this tutorial, but you won't have this workspace. You'll just have the default one that older versions have. So the first thing you want to do is find a part where the person appears in the clip first. So right here, you can see his mouth's open, a really cool guy right here, right? You want to type in the username at this point. So you want to just type in their Instagram. So this guy, noah.c. Photography. If you're watching this video, at the end of the video, if you can go on his Instagram and just comment hashtag team van on the video, that would be great. And you want to just align it in the middle. So go to align and transform and select these two buttons and they will make the text go right in the middle right here. I'm using the text font called Helvectia. I'm not sure what exact font they use for Instagram. I didn't take the time to research that, but this is pretty similar. The next thing you want to do is create a rectangle underneath here. So basically the shape of the tag. You probably won't see it because you have the pen tool selected, but basically what you want to do is just hold down on the pen tool. So click and hold down and then select the rectangle tool right here. You want to now click on the text tool and then drag this rectangle over. What you don't want to do is not press on this first because if you don't press on it first, it'll create a separate layer. If you click on this and then make the layer, it'll appear all in the same workspace right here. And that way it's easier to edit everything. So you're gonna click on the shape right here and you wanna center it as well. And you just wanna drag this underneath so that you can actually see the text. The text is a bit too big. I'll lower the scale over here. So something like this to 90, probably 92, and then center it once again. The next thing we wanna do is create that triangle pointing upwards. As you can see here, there is no triangle tool. So what do we do? We do some geometry. What we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to create a square and it's gonna have to be rotated 45 degrees in order for it to become a rhombus. I think it's a rhombus. I'm not really good at math, but whatever. So you want to hold shift while selecting the rectangle tool. This will create a square. This will keep the aspect ratio. Otherwise it's going to be free form and it'll just become a rectangle. The next thing you want to do is you want to press right here and just type in 45 and then you want to move it. So let's select the selection tools to move it. You can also use the selection tool to rotate as well. If that's easier for you, which it shouldn't, I don't know why it would be. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on here so it's easier and I'm going to use that H tool. So press H, it's called the hand tool and basically you can just go through here. I'm going to now press the V tool so I can move this and then H tool to move back and then V tool to keep dragging this. So basically the V tool can move objects and the H tool can just pan. It's just easier that way. So you want to just line up this shape right on this rectangle right here. So you want the middle to be right there. So let's just do that right now. So that should be good right there. And you just wanna now press horizontal centers right here and then it'll go right in the middle. So let's go back to fit. And as you can see here, it's good. Now what you wanna do is move the shape tool to the very bottom and then there you have it. I think that it's too big, maybe a little bit too big. So I'm gonna just make it a bit smaller. So like 50, no, that's too small, maybe like 80 something like that. Now I'm going to zoom in and do it again. And then just center again and go back to fit. So now we're actually done the entire shape, the actual tag, and we just need to get going with the motion tracking and keyframing. But what you can do if you want is you can select this right here and you can go to the shape tools and lower the opacity because that's actually what is done in the Instagram app. You may notice that the tags aren't 100% opaque. They are translucent, so you could go to something like 90 and do that. But the issue that may arise is that you may see some overlapping. So one part might be darker than everything else. And you could do some cropping if you wanted to, but I don't want to get into that. So uh, I'll just leave it as is. So now it's time to do the keyframing, which is 
pretty easy actually. So go to the point where you first have the person in the frame and I'm just gonna lower the scale right here and then I'm just gonna move him right, maybe right here in the center. So just use these positions. So just press the stopwatch wherever you're done. And we're just gonna actually set the scale as zero at first. The reason you wanna do this is you wanna actually make it pop in. That's what happens in Jake Paul's videos. So you wanna start out at zero. So press the time stopwatch right there. And then you wanna type in 100 so that it pops in slowly. So if you just press play right here, it pops in right. That's really cool. Maybe you don't want the scale as 100. So I'll do it at 65 and delete the 100. So maybe something like this. And as you can see, the position is already incorrect because at this point, he's a little bit to the left more. So we're just gonna do some basic keyframing. So at this point, it's perfect. We're just gonna go through timeline. Now it's a bit to the left. So now we're just gonna change the position right here. Go a little bit left, just keep going. He's now to the right a bit. So we're just gonna change it. And then he's a bit higher up. So we're gonna go lower down and the next that's a bit of a shake right here. So right there, he's now on the right side and lower down. And then there he's on the left side now. Pardon my stabilization skills. And then now he's gone. So at the point where he's gone, so right here, we're just gonna pop out. So how you do this is you're just gonna set it as zero at this point and at the normal rate right here, so at 65. I think that was the scale the entire time, right? Yeah, it's right there. So 65 to zero, and then it pops out. So we're just gonna press play. So there you go, that's basically how you do it. And I think in Jake Paul's video, there's a pop sound. There's actually a sound effect every time it pops in and pops out, I'm not 100% sure. But what you can do is go to the YouTube sound effects in your dashboard. I'll show you what I mean right here. You want to go to create and they have some stock you know audio stuff so sound effects and just find something called pop i'm sure there's one called pop oh here there is pop so we're just going to download it right here so this is free and no copyright so don't worry and we're just going to drag it onto our premiere pro right here and wherever it pops in and pops out we're going to do that so let's go right here so we're just going to go to the keyframes so at the beginning right here it pops in so we're just move it right here. I'm gonna make this bigger so that you can see the you know waves, the audio waves, so they know when it pops in and pops out. Maybe that's a bit off. And I'm gonna lower the volume because that's just way too loud. Why is it that loud? So we're gonna lower it by like negative 30 dB. Yeah, something like that. And then we're gonna do it at the end as well. So you just wanna duplicate this. You can copy and paste, or you can hold Alt and drag, and it'll do the same thing. So when it pops out. So right around here. So let's just move it around here. There you go. I'm at Wonderland. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully it helped you out. If it did, hit the thumbs up button. You can follow me on Instagram as well. And don't forget to comment hashtag Team Van on this guy and his Instagram. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.